All right. Hey, everyone. It is time for the 2021 Lawrenceville School Bio Blitz. And you may be wondering, what's the Bio Blitz? Well, I'll tell you what it is. The goal of the Bio Blitz is to promote a passion for biodiversity through sharing of observations of flora and fauna using iNaturalist. And guess what? It starts today. Okay, someone already posted some observations right before school meeting. Our first observation of the year is an ant by Miss New. Um, this is last year's results. This is an annual event we've, we've hosted at Lawrenceville School since 2016. And last year was particularly good. We had a new school record with Michael Morris posting more than 1,500 observations of 749 species. That is a school record significantly more than any of the any of the other previous years and so we'll see how uh, Michael Morris does this year he, he's already on the on the um, on the app and actively posting things and we'll see if, how much competition he has this year but bioblitz is great we find and discover many really cool things in bioblitz like this albino squirrel that was posted by stu two students from last year one year a student uh, photographed a coyote eating a beaver over by the cornfield. That was in 2017. Portuguese man wars, Western fence lizards, witches butter fungi, a golden net winged beetle, a red eft, turtles fighting in the pond, uh, uh, egrets, snowy egrets, and we even had the endemic false dayflower of Texas posted on iNaturalist, and an eyelash cup, a really cool fungus. So here are the, here's the deal with this. There are not many rules, but I do want you to adhere to a few things. One, you have to document everything with either an image or a video. Two, nature only. You're, you're welcome to, 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 to post things of like your dog or your cat, but it's not gonna count towards the competition. We wanna focus on the things that are outside in nature. We don't wanna go to like Walmart and start posting images of things that are, that are, that are uh, like a fig tree, but, uh, but we want to we want to encourage that you go outside and you discover natural, naturally occurring flora and fauna. Um, so so do that. And then and then two the other the third the other thing is please no pictures of people. We want to keep it focused on the flora and fauna. So just no people in the pictures. Um, the iNaturalist app and the iNaturalist community, it's huge and it's very engaging. So we want to represent ourselves as Laurentians on the community by taking this seriously. People really spend time to looking at your observations. And so take good pictures and take it seriously, right? Um, so a few questions. Jack McCain asked me, hey, Dr. Clark, can I take pictures of the same stuff as last year? Yes, you can, Jack. You can post the same images. You just have to take them again. So the way it works is it starts today. So your images have to start today. And you can take pictures of the same things you did last year and they'll count towards this year, all right? Um, you have to download the app on your on your iDevice, um, and I will send out a link after all school meeting. And it's very simple. You go to that app, you create a username, you put the app on your phone, you allow the app to have access to your photos. And then there's one other thing that you have to do is you have to add the 2021 Lawrenceville School BioBlitz to a project, and it will automatically update your observations to the project. And then after that, every time you take a picture of something, um, it will automatically update, to, up, upload to the project, and um, and it's it's like it's like Facebook for flora and fauna. It's a lot of fun. When are you supposed to be able to do this? You do it on your free time. All right, here at Lawrenceville School, we have free time. That's when you do it. Right, you're walking to the dining hall. You can bio blitz. You're walking to a sports event. You can bio blitz. If you're at halftime, in the middle of a, of a lacrosse game, just say, hey, coach, I got to go over and bio blitz a little bit, and that's fine. All right, so you do it during your free time. Take a break from Fortnite. Take a break from studying. Go outside and bio blitz. And start now, all right? We, the competition starts now. Go out there and do it. The first 100 participants, okay, the first 100 people to sign up will get a free social distancing noodle. All right, here it is in action right here. These things maintain social distancing. All you need to buy to bio blitz is you need a social distancing noodle, a mask, and you need an eye device, and you can go out and have fun. Why participate? Memorable deep learning takes place when people are actively engaged, 
collaborating and applying their learning to their daily lives. Trust me, if you do this, you'll find it fun. You'll engage with a lot of other people in the, in the community and you'll get to see people look at your pictures and they'll comment on them. It's a lot of fun. What's in it for me? Well, two things. One, you can put it on your CV, right? If you participate on your CV, you can say, I was the finalist in the 2021 Lawrenceville School BioBlitz. I documented 190 plus species of flora and fauna in, extremely, in an extremely competitive competition. That's fine. Who can participate? Students, faculty, staff, families. All right, I really encourage all of our community to partic participate. All right, just anyone who's connected to the Lawrenceville community. You don't have to be a student. You can be part of a family and participate. We also have prizes, all right? All of the prizes uh, were handcrafted in Ecuador. They're made from a, um, from a, a, a coconut nut. It's called Fatalifus equatorialis. It's uh, common name is vegetable ivory. And we have a lot of bracelets and necklaces and each one is hand carved. And the first, uh, the, the top 150 participants will get one of these prizes. And by the way, if you participated last year and you didn't get your prize, come talk to me or let me know and I'll give you a prize if you didn't get one from last year. Um, we have lots of prizes. We have one with Headmaster Murray on it. We have one with the Lawrenceville logo. We have bracelets. Here are some bracelets. We have thick bracelets, thin bracelets. We have one with the, the chapel. This was designed by, by Hannah Welch. Uh, we have another, another bracelet with, with red leather and the Lawrenceville L. And then the last year's design was by, by Rania Shaw, and this is of, of Pop Hall. And so we have bracelets and, and, and necklaces um, with those. So I just wanna acknowledge uh, all these fine people for helping with this year's BioBlitz. And I will send out a, uh, an email right after, um, right after Smeeting. And all you have to do is send me your, your username and I'll put you on the project and you're good to go.